So, yeah, I'm trying a different lighting thing going on. I'm not sure if I dig it. Uh, let me know if you dig it. Because I'm not sure if I do. But I thought I'd try something different. Okay, greetings and salutations everybody watching this video. Yes, this is a requested video from this guy right here on the screen. He wanted me to do an update of the Emacs and I haven't done one in a while because not much has happened. If you're new to this channel, the Emacs, this is this is the old Emacs. This is the Emacs with the EVX twin brushless Titan motors. And uh, this was actually my first, the first RC that I ever got. I've done a lot of modifications to it. I was doing a, 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 an Emacs light project and that was to make this car as light as possible because it was really heavy. I forget what the starting weight was. Maybe we'll do a weigh-in today as well. Make it as light as possible and as race ready as possible. So, I haven't raced it yet, actually. Yeah, so it pretty much, it pretty much looks like a truggy now. It's kind of, kind of cool. So either way, so I'll take the body off, show you guys what's going on. Okay, as you can see here, here is the chassis. And I don't know if you can see these spider webs over here, but there are, there are spider webs currently on this vehicle because I have it driven. <laughs> yes, I haven't driven this car probably since last year. I do know why I haven't been driving this. It just hit me. I need a new bottom chassis. I should get one before these people stop making this chassis. I have broken, oh my gosh, it's getting worse. I've broken the chassis right here. As you can see, it kind of messes up the front alignment and I'm not a big fan of it. So I, I, I do need to get a new chassis before they stop making it. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like from the front. I know, not very good. I'm not sure if I should just go through real quick and say what I put on here. Okay, so what I put on here, let's go from front to rear. These are Team Associated RC8 front shocks that I have for both front and rear. So I go with those with, uh, with stock medium, medium springs, MIP drive shafts all around. The new Revo brushless ready differentials, front and rear, uh, RPM front bulkheads. The new generation Emacs, maybe I can do a macro of this. I got the new generation Emacs bell cranks in there. So the servo saver is built into the bell cranks and I can just have a metal servo horn right there. So I don't have to have a servo saver attached to the servo. And that servo saver spring in those bell cranks is too soft. Uh, these these wheels I, I turn the wheel and it takes a while for the wheels to turn and sometimes they 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 turn even when I'm turning um, I have the Traxxas 17 millimeter Adapters right there. This is the receiver for the 4px high-tech high torque uh, servo Traxxas center drive shaft um, Extreme extreme racing extreme racing brushless low CG carbon fiber chassis. That's a lot of stuff I just said. Gorilla Max single speed uh, conversion. In there is also the new Emax steel idler. Gorilla Max body straps, body hold down, no, nope, battery hold downs. Tekken uh, T8. This is a 55, a 2250 motor. Back is Traxxas metal bulkheads and a Techno RC wing mount. To top it all off is a Proline Racing Bulldog body for the RC8T. So yeah, I think I've covered all the products that I put on here. Oh, I didn't say tires. These are Proline Racing calibers uh, with closed cell molded inserts. This is actually when they first started making the molded inserts along with the half inch offset Proline Velocity wheels. The last few products get the Revo seal pivot ball suspension probably a new set of bearings all around maybe even ceramic to do try a 6s setup probably get a new body with my new scheme because i have currently changed it oh there we go this is what the new one looks like even i even want to change it from this let's so probably get a new one uh try to get maybe some bigger bore shocks for it and figure out why my front end keeps loosening up when i drive i, I lose four wheel drive sometimes when i drive Let's see what, how much it weighs, huh? Okay, so I got everything loaded up. Uh, got the batteries on here. Everything's ready to go. This is how I would take it out onto the track. Um, so let's see how much this thing weighs. Wow. So nine pounds, 11 ounces exactly. That's pretty cool. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any other suggestions, any other products that I haven't caught you guys up on. I think I, I think I've caught you up on everything that I have. 
But if there's any other things that you guys want to see, let me know. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week, or at the track. Boom.